and the reason why I'm doing over my intro is because I in the intro that I actually made it wouldn't really correlate with this video so basically in that intro I wanted to do a day in my life vlog so I was acting as if it was a day in my life vlog and introducing the video as a day in my life vlog but I decided while doing the video today that I wanted it to be a night routine video so yeah but in the starting of this clip I'm going to be acting as if you know I didn't get to do the video from the actual day that I was filming it because I filmed the intro yesterday so I'm going to be acting as if you know I never get to film the video on the day that I wanted to film it and therefore I'm just filming it today so just kind of bear with me but yeah don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let's get into the video. Alright, you guys. So it actually is the next day. And I didn't do anything that I said I was going to do yesterday. So I'm going to be doing it today. So we're going to be starting off in the kitchen, as you can see. I'm going to be making the chicken breast. And I'm either going to be doing potatoes or rice, depending on if there's leftover rice in the fridge or if I'm just feeling a little bit more for pasta as the, not pasta, potato, as the video progresses. So we're gonna see. But let's get into the video officially. winding down after a day's hard work even though today was probably like more like on the chiller side but yeah just in general this is probably one of my most or probably my most favorite part of my days because you know i just get to relax this is the time that i can you know do whatever i feel like i don't have to be rushing trying to meet deadlines i can just take this time genuinely to myself 
So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with our showering and we'll just continue with the little face routine, etc. etc. So let's get right into it. <laughs> showing you guys these curls. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then because I'm really getting into this YouTube thing, I'm going to be sharing everything with you guys. So, friends, just get used to me being later because I was already late when I didn't start. But, you know, still, catch curl. Is that Sierra? Period. She's what? Beautiful. By the way, 
guys. You know, I think it's weird that I'm looking at the camera while I'm showering, but I'm not looking at the camera. There is a mirror in front of me, so I'm actually looking at myself. Normally when I want, I wash my hair, and I do this probably like about every three weeks or every two weeks. Um, depending on if I have a style in my hair, but if I just have my hair slicked back, two weeks. But if I have a protective style, three weeks or four weeks. But yeah. Normally when I'm washing my hair though, I always try to put like some kind of packet, something extra, probably like a deep conditioner or you know some form of treatment to do like something like a hot oil treatment, something. I always try to do something a little bit extra for my hair to give it extra nutrients or give it some nutrients that it's probably been deprived of over the few weeks that I had the protective style or I was sticking by my hair. Now I went on TikTok and uh, <laughs> I find it so funny that I am trusting or putting my faith in TikTok but I don't know the body that TikTok holds in everybody life right now but yeah. So I went on TikTok and I found out that with my type of hair, I don't remember what kind of hair I have but I just know say a few weeks ago I went on TikTok and I think it's low porosity, I'm going to guess. But I, I just know that whatever porosity was, porosity, porosity, whatever one it was, they said that protein is very good. So I went into Fontana and I saw this package. I don't remember if it's Fontana or Lily's, but I went into one of them store there and I saw this coconut oil deep treating protein pack. Hopefully you guys can see that yeah and i was like why not coconut oil you know deep conditioning well not deep conditioning but protein protein big and bold coconut oil and i said can't go wrong with this so i decided to try it out and it says for dry damaged or color treated hair i don't have um dry damaged or color treated hair but you know a product it must work all right must nice but well, let us see so let's put this in our hair to look for the bigger bottle and I couldn't find it but I guarantee you know when I find it I'm gonna buy it because wow this 
When you talk about hair softener and moisturizer, love this. But yeah, I'm gonna use a skin glory turmeric face wash, face soap, and body soap too. I don't know, but yeah, let's get into it. And I use this sponge right here. It's an exfoliating sponge. I use this to wash my face or exfoliate my face when I'm washing it. Place it in this bottle over here so I wouldn't have to keep 
you know, doing this all the time. So instead, I just pump it. I got this trick from, or this, whatever it is, or this idea. I don't remember where I got it from. But I just want to say, whoever said it, thank you. Because it really helps that girl out. Why? This toner is like if you want to exfoliate, it's kind of like it's the toner kind of have a, ex, a tingling feeling because it's taking away the excess dirt from your skin. And I'll go down to my neck. Why am I giving you guys a whole skincare routine? <sighs> so I can know that you know you guys are true blue pickers. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, bye guys.